In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace, peace, and the mercy of God our Father and the risen Jesus be with you all. And with your spirit. And today we celebrate the fourth Sunday of the Easter season. And this fourth Sunday, we traditionally, is traditionally referred to as Good Shepherd Sunday. And so we're presented before us in the gospel, this great image of who and what the Good Shepherd is. And so we right now enter into this celebration as we do always by calling to mind the sins we've committed and we ask God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth earth peace peace to to people people of goodwill. We praise you. you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. And they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord Lord is my my shepherd, shepherd, there there is is nothing nothing I shall shall want. want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The The Lord Lord is is my my shepherd, shepherd. there There is is nothing nothing I I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The The Lord Lord is my my shepherd. shepherd. There There is is nothing nothing I shall shall want. want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord Lord is is my my shepherd. shepherd. There There is is nothing nothing I I shall want. want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord 
for years to come. The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I shall, I shall want. want. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that, free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you had gone astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. 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 Ah, alleluia. Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, Whoever does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber. But who ent whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find green pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Sometime when you have a few extra minutes, go through the Gospel of St. John just to see all the different titles that Jesus ascribes to himself. So, for example, in the sixth chapter, he refers to himself as being the bread of life. In the next chapter, he refers to himself as living water. In the next chapter, he refers to himself as the light of the world. In the 11th chapter, he refers to himself as being the resurrection and the life. Then if you jump to his final discourse, the address spoken to the apostles at the Last Supper, he refers to himself as being the way, 
the truth, and the life. And then he goes on to say that he is the true vine and we are the branches. And of course, that list of different titles goes on and on. Now, today's gospel is taken from the 10th chapter of the Gospel of St. John. And this 10th chapter contains the Good Shepherd Discourse. Now, this image of the Good Shepherd is probably the best known biblical image of Jesus. It's an image recognized by all throughout the world. And so this is an image that people find reassuring, but it's, an also, but it's also an image that brings us a good deal of consolation, particularly the consolation that's promised to us through the 23rd Psalm, which is the Psalm of the Good Shepherd. But this image of the Good Shepherd isn't given to us simply for us to look at and admire. The image is given to us in order to teach us something about authority and real leadership. And while those two words, authority and leadership, while they often go hand in hand, a person who has a position of authority doesn't necessarily possess what is necessary to be a good leader. So we all, I suspect, have heard the phrase servant leadership. And that term challenges leaders in all walks of life to regard themselves as servants. And so think, for example, that one of the, one of the titles that's always ascribed to the Pope is he is the servant of the servants of God. But also notice people who are elected officials are often referred to as being civil servants. Now, because of this COVID virus, we're living through very difficult days. And these days are particularly difficult, of course, for the world, but certainly for our country, very specifically for those of us here in New York City, which is the epicenter of this virus, but also difficult days for the church. And might I suggest that the difficulties that we are experience, experiencing in our country and in our city and in our church, they're not difficulties that were created by the COVID virus, but they certainly are difficulties that have been complicated by it. So if in fact our government leaders and our church leaders, if they in fact want to be servant leaders, especially now, then they have to be authentic shepherd leaders, which means they must be available, they must be accountable, they must be honest, they must be transparent, and they also must be vulnerable. And so the Good Shepherd, as we know from the scriptures, is one who is prepared to give his life or her life for his or her flock. And that's what we refer to as shepherd leadership. And so the shepherd leader is there for us and with us. Now, very specifically in this discourse of the good shepherd, we are told that the sheep hear the voice of the shepherd. We're told that the shepherd knows his own. We're told that the shepherd calls his sheep by name. We're told that the shepherd walks ahead of them and then the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. Now, of course, in this time of pandemic, we have all kinds of voices competing for our attention. Voices that sometimes disparage even good science that's dedicated to the preservation of life. So we have the responsibility of trying to discern these different voices. Now, in today's passage, very specifically, Jesus compares himself to the gate of the sheepfold. He says, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out, and that person will find green pasture. 
And he goes on to say that, that when a thief comes, a thief comes to steal and to kill and destroy. But he said that rather he comes in order for us to have life and have it more abundantly. And so what we are really reflecting on today is this example of the Good Shepherd. And this example of the Good Shepherd, it seems to me as though it has great relevance, relevance for leaders today, leaders in all places, leaders in all seasons, and leaders in all circumstances. Because there is something in this discourse for all of us, something that applies that's something that could apply to ourselves, something over which we need to maybe ponder, and there's something also over which we need, about which we need to pray. And so, once again, look around at the many people in positions of authority. And as we think about people in roles of authority, and as we look at their leadership, we also need to ask the ask ourselves the question, what kind of a leader am I? What kind of a leader am I for those who listen to me? What kind of a leader are we? What kind of a leader are you at home, in your family, in your own pulpit, whatever that may be? What kind of a leader are you in your classroom, in your store, in your place of employment? What kind of, a, what kind of a leader are you in your office or in your law firm or in your medical practice? And that question has to be asked of each of us. And hopefully, as we reflect on the question, hopefully our response will be in the spirit and in the style of the Good Shepherd, the Good Shepherd who faithfully leads us to green pastures and is faithful and loving us until the very end. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now together we profess our Catholic faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear friends, the Lord is the shepherd who knows each of his flock by name. We now offer our prayers to God, trusting in his love. That the good shepherd may raise up in the church those like Pope Francis, who will lead with courage and serve with love, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all of our catechumens and candidates who are still awaiting the waters of baptism and the Easter sacraments, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray that those who have strayed from Christ may hear the Good Shepherd's voice, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all those who feel called by our Good Shepherd may have the courage to follow and openness to welcome all others who hear his call, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all the first responders to this pandemic, the doctors, the nurses, and all healthcare workers, cleaners, supermarket employees, police officers, firefighters, and EMTs, that God will protect them, keep them well, and give them the courage and stamina that they need to continue their good work. And we pray for those who are working so diligently to find the cure to eradicate the coronavirus, that they will be given the resources, the support, and the encouragement they need. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sake of our parish, we pray particularly for all those commended to our prayers 
especially those sick with the virus, that they may know God's care for them and comfort in our loving concern, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For our beloved dead, especially Keith McDermott, Monsignor John Ruvo, Father John Baida, and all those who died this past week, especially those who died from the COVID-19 virus, that they may know the mercy of the God who created them, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our individual intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray. O oh God, you never cease to call even those far away, for it is your will that all be drawn into one fold. Attune our ears to the voice of the Good Shepherd, who leads us always to you, that we may find under your tender protection life in all its fullness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread and this wine to offer. Produce of the earth, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. They will become for us our bread of life and our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my friends, that this our sacrifice will now be made acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for the, the praise, praise and, and glory of his name, name for, for our good, good and the good, good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that the renew renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us. He defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the good shepherd who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is, is he who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. A similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now we pray together the prayer taught to us by Jesus. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy thy will be be done done on earth earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us us this this day day our daily bread bread, and and forgive us our trespasses trespasses, as we forgive forgive those who trespass trespass against against us and lead lead us us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver deliver us from from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And with a gesture, we offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take take away the sins of the world, world. have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am am not worthy that you should should enter under my roof, but but only only say say the the word word, and my soul soul shall be. in the body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Look upon your, your flock, good shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.